Well, the Minnesota DNR is on the lookout for the increasingly rare bumblebee. Earlier this year, the rusty patch bumblebee became the first bumblebee to be placed on the federal list of endangered species. In response, states within the bee's historic range, like Minnesota, have been conducting surveys to get a more detailed picture of its status. We're trying to understand that species distribution in the state, um, as well as the type of habitats it needs. Um, we're even recording really basic information, like what kind of um, flowers we see it on, that sort of thing. And then um, we hope to be able to manage habitat to um, encourage that bee to be less rare. Before the 1990s, the rusty patch bumblebee was commonly found in 28 states across the Midwest and New England, as well as in Quebec, Ontario and Washington, D.C. Now it's thought to exist in only about 13 states in Ontario and scattered locations that represent about 10% of the species' historic range. Places like Minnesota may provide a sort of last stronghold because of the state's mix of habitat types. There's a lot of things that kind of need to go right in a system in order for um, bumblebees to happen. And so, so we're trying to understand what all those things are, how they interact, and how we can hopefully keep, you know, the rusty patch and other rare bees from disappearing. Other species of bumblebees, as well as honeybees and other pollinators, also are suffering declines, with estimates indicating that about one quarter of North American bumblebee species may be at risk of extinction. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.